There is a very rare video that we're seeing Tesla it's spotted testing Cybertruck crop driving at Gigafactory Texas. Gigafactory Texas longtime chronicler Joe Techmeyer on X has shared this wonderful video where you can see Tesla Cybertruck crop driving at Giga Texas. Welcome back everyone. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please take a moment and subscribe to our channel for daily breaking Tesla news. So Tesla has tooted the Cybertruck's rear wheel steering in the past, but a new video taken at the automaker's factory in Austin, Texas this week by Joe Techmeyer shows the company testing the featured crop walking feature of the Cybertruck with an interesting driving maneuver. You're seeing on your screen the video by Joe Techmeyer. So in this clip shared on X on Wednesday by Drone Pilot and Gigafactory Texas, uh, longtime chronicler Joe Techmeyer, you can see Tesla testing out a crop driving or crop walking technique by, by Cybertruck by using rear wheel steering to maneuver forward while driving at an angle. The short clip takes place in a dirt construction lot area of Gigafactory, Texas. And when you look closely, you can see the rear wheels at a slight angle, giving the vehicle a tilted forward approach. Now, some people may say that this is not a crop walking, but more of a steering test of Cybertruck by Tesla. As I continue to talk, please look at the video and share your comments before below but joe techmeyer commented on x to this type of thought and said as a comparison according to general motors crop walk is a unique four-wheel steer mode available on the 2022 gmc hammer electric vehicle pickup designed to offer greater vehicle maneuverability when you're off-roading or parking the feature allows the angle of the rear wheels to mimic the angle of the front wheel, allowing your vehicle to move more diagonally. Now, this is interesting. Do you see this description happening in this video or something else? Now, I'm trying also to imagine how you would control it. The only thing I can is that you could choose one of three modes when stopped. Same turn, opposite turn, and off. Opposite could be progressive, now, Tesla's full self driving FSD that could use this at Cybertruck continuously changing the Cybertruck's position in driving as needed. By, uh, by the way, it looks like rear wheel turn radius is proportional to the speed of the vehicle if you closely watch the video. Do you see the same? Okay, now I have a question. In which situation will this be useful? Could you use it for parallel parking, for example? Will it make parallel parking more easily available for Tesla Cybertruck? Now, you can see the full clip posted by Techmeyer uh, on this screen, as you're seeing. Techmeyer also says he plans to release a longer video from his time at Gigafactory Texas on Wednesday, and this story uh, will be updated in a new video probably as soon as Techmeyer releases the video. And he, by the way, he wrote, did you know Cybertruck can crop walk or crop drive? Check out the short video from Gigafactory Texas testing out the crop walking capability. And he said much more is coming uh, in the main video later today. So if you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel because I will attempt to make an update to this video if Joe Techmeyer has more interesting stuff. So as the video might suggest, rear wheel steering, also called four wheel steering, could be crucial for use at job sites, in off-road situations, or in other scenarios where an extra tight turn radius or the ability to crop drive may come in handy. Just a moment ago, I asked people, uh, like, what are the, some of the situations like we can use this? Like, uh, in which situation will this be useful on Cybertruck? And if you could you know, use this in parallel parking? Well, Cybertruck can be used in different situations. And this is one of them that, you know, on job sites, off-road situations or other scenarios. This is why probably Tesla is using or testing Cybertruck's crop walking mode pictured here 
in a kind of construction type of situation because many people will use Cybertruck in a, as a construction truck. By the way, trucks are mainly used or primarily used by construction workers. They need that. They need the extra space to drive it around. But a lot of people these days have trucks just for fun or just to haul things or, you know, move things around, especially if you are in a rural area. But in city scenarios, you know, a lot of people buy cyber, uh, buy trucks. And I'm assuming that many people will buy the cyber truck because it's cool looking. It's nice looking truck. It's very uh, kind of intuitive, innovative. But I said this that Tesla is testing this in a kind of construction scenario because trucks are primarily used by people in the construction business. Now, Tesla is not the first automaker to deploy rear wheel steering, though it certainly looks unique when the Cybertruck uses it. I don't know. You have seen uh, uh, Hammer's uh, crab walking mode. Would you say this is similar or this is a little bit different? This is why I use the word it looks unique when the Cybertruck uses it. Friends, the Cybertruck has been spotted testing several times in the last few months, both on public roads and around Tesla factories. In September, if you remember, the Cybertruck's rear wheel steering was seen being used to perform a U-turn at an intersection and the feature has been shown off by Tesla at other times in the past as well. The sighting also comes ahead of Tesla's Cybertruck delivery event. Later this month, which is set to take place on November 30th, has any one of you received any in, uh, invitation to this event? If you have received an invitation to this event, please let me know in the comment section below. It will be interesting you know, if you may have some information that you would like to share with us. This event will be held at Gigafactory, Texas. Um, uh, expect a lot of people to travel to Austin, Texas around November 30th. Actually, it will be November 29th. And as the event will be taken in Gigafactory, Texas. And Tesla is offering shareholders the chance to win tickets to see the event in person with a random drawing. So what do you think, friends? Are you excited? It is very interesting that it can drive, I mean, Cybertruck can drive down the road with a jaw like that. You know, I'm personally not sure that it is terribly useful. This is why I said twice in which scenario you think this can be used. But it is interesting. What is the use case for this? It's a weird use case. They way the way they are using it in this video. They pointed the nose away from parallel to the road and then use crop walk to drive straight down the road. One actually use case would be parking. You could parallel park the Cybertruck quickly if the nose is facing straight and you stop, initiate crop walk, and then angle straight into an open parallel parking spot. If the spot isn't too tight, it would work nicely, I think. Let me know your thoughts. This is Armin Arya from TorqueNews.com. Please also visit us, us at TorqueNews.com. God bless you, everyone, and I'll see you soon in our next report.